Good afternoon. Good evening. Today is May 16th, 2022. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. My name is Julie. I'm coming to you from Orange County, California. My dear friend Milo. Milo, if you could please say hello to all our friends. Hey, how are you guys doing? It's Milo from Nashville, Tennessee. Hello, Milo. Thank you so much for doing this with me, Milo. It's been over a year and a half. We have we started the Julie and Milo show to literally connecting all our friends and founders around the world. And for that reason, we are be able to know so many people around the world. You know, we did we could not be able to start it without on passive. On passive is something that connecting all of us together around the world. And we are so grateful to have on passive uh, in our life. And thank you to Mr. Ash Mufar. Therefore, friends, we're asking you, if you're currently watching this video, please make sure you write hashtag, thank you on passive, hashtag, thank you, Ash Mufar. And that's what we wanted to do to dedicate and to appreciate what Mr. Ash and his entire family is giving on passive to the world. Um, Milo, today we have our dear friend who comes to the Julie and Milo show every single week, and we're looking forward to get to know him. So without further ado, Milo, if you could please introduce our friend. Absolutely. Thank you, Julie. He's been on the shows many times and all around the webinars. And it's none other, folks, than Mr. Alan G. Come on out, Alan. So good to have you on the show today, Alan. Thanks for coming to the show. Hello, Alan. So good to have you. Thank you so much for spending time with us. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Awesome. So, Alan, we love to get to know the founders a little bit better. And so today, this is what we're going to do. So we'd like to know, where did Alan G., uh, where did it all start for you? How about your mom, your dad, your siblings, your family now? Um, I was born in the Free State in a town called Bloemfontein, which is in the central South Africa. Uh, moved around every three up to five years and eventually ended up in Cape Town, where I've been now for the last over 50 years. Uh, I've got a sister that's living in Johannesburg. And my, both my parents have died a long time ago. Anything else you want to know what I'm doing work-wise? I'm how still about, working. How about your family now? Do you have a wife, children? No, my wife passed away 10 years ago. I've got uh, two children. One lives in Cape Town. One lives in London. I've got a grandson of 18 who's just started uh, college. And I've got a granddaughter of 13 in London. Wow. Perfect. That is pretty awesome. Ellen, I noticed in your bio that you started your early life making candy. That is so sweet. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. I started off in the, what we call a sweet factory here. We call it a candy factory. Um, and I was actually a, a candy maker. I actually made the, the work, hands on making the, the different types of candy. We can all the departments. We start off with what they call the starch department. They do like the, the jubes and the uh, marshmallows and this type of thing. And then I moved to the toffee department. And then I moved to the chocolate department. We used to make chocolate. And it was actually very, very interesting. I worked at that for three years. And then I moved up to Johannesburg where I went into the printing industry and became a, a compositor. I don't know if you know what a compositor is. I don't have them anymore today. He does the layout of the print using hot metal, the old type printing. He had the metal letters. I do the layout of the pages and this type of thing. Okay, and then I moved to Cape Town. I joined a family business for about 20 years, and that eventually folded. And then I was in the flea market for about six or seven years, um, doing selling various 
product and ended up selling sunglasses of, for a while. And then at the moment I've been, what I'm doing now, I've been driving and uh, helping senior citizens, older than myself, uh, taking them to appointments and doing their shopping. I've been, been doing that since 2007. Awesome. Man, it sounds like you've done a lot. I, I love the part about Miss Daisy. I was going to ask you that question, so I'm uh, thankful you brought it up. Uh, so let's move forward a little bit. You uh, you also do uh, photography work. Um, so tell us a little about your photography work. I believe you like sun, sunrises and sunsets. Okay. Um, I'll say about half a... About 500 meters from the, the seafront, so actually I do a lot of walking and take uh, sunsets mainly at the moment. But in my earlier years, I started photography at the age of 10 with black and white and had my own darkroom. And um, it must be about 50 years ago, I started a business with my brother-in-law. We used to sell photographs of ships. He was a clean ship photographer and he used to take photographs of ships. And we used to, uh, do, we used to take orders for photographs of ships and ship them all over the world. I've always been involved with you know, that type of thing, but now with the digital cameras, what you need is a phone and you can take beautiful photographs. Well, so, so you're my kind of guy. You love sunset and sunrise and you love to take pictures of them because that's what I do every day. At the end of the day, when I have some time, I just go out there to the beach and taking pictures. I'll send you something I took recently uh, um, last week. Uh, I'll send you one or two of my sunsets that I've taken. I would love to have them. I would love to have them. So, Alan, let's go into the topic. Uh, it is the reason why all of us are here, connecting with each other. It's on passive. So, please tell us when did you join on passive? How did you hear about it? And uh, how has it been for you? Um, I joined in July, 12th of July, 2020. Uh, I was on a call to a friend of mine from another uh, online business I was with, and we had a chat for about an hour. And he mentioned on passive, and it clicked with me immediately. I listened, he sent me one of Jeffrey Warlock's videos, and something resonated with me. I don't know what it was. I, can't, I couldn't tell you what it was, but I thought this is something that, you know, and uh, he had just joined himself, and I, I must have bugged him for about three days before I got the link from him. And I, and I signed up and then I started getting buying for my sister and my two children I bought and I've gifted quite a few positions away as well. So, um, and that's my story so far. As I say, I, hopefully they'll, I'll have to pay some of the, uh, the activation fees once it gets going. Uh, three or four, more likely five or six I'll have to pay, but some of them are, will pay themselves. So you, so you right. have been in on passive since 2020, July 2020. Yes. I'm very sure that at this point, you know so much more than when you joined. Tell us a little bit about you, what is on passive in your own words? Um, on passive to me is an amazing opportunity, especially for somebody like me who's um, at the moment, I'm 77, and I'm still having to work to, to pay my bills. Uh, so give me an opportunity to be able to stop working and to travel. Uh, I had my car stolen last year in July, and I haven't been able to buy another car. So hopefully I'll be able to buy a new car once the Apple starts arriving. Um, and uh, I say I have enjoy it. I find I've learned a lot by watching the, video, uh, the webinars I'm on, which I'm quite on quite often. Um, I work basically mornings only, so I've got the afternoons and the evenings actually I watch, catch up on the uh, webinars that I missed, that are like two or three o'clock in the morning for me here, so I watch the replays. And as I say, I've been, I've learned a lot. Uh, passive to me is a way, a different way of life. It's a means to help your fellow man, as I say, in various ways. I've helped so far by, by gifting positions to other people already. So that's what I've been doing so far. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, in the last webinar with our CEO, he had mentioned about on passive is paving the way. 
on passive will reshape the planet. Uh, what was your feeling at that time, your thought at that time when you hear what he said? Um, look, the way I understand it, on the products that we have at the moment are unbelievable, the digital products. But the physical products that they are bringing out, I think that's what is where he's going to change the world. Um, because he's very much into energy and um, I think that is one of the things that is going to help change the world. Um, the, on one of the, on one of the, one of the Bless uh, talking about this company that I came across that has the straws that purify water and also the, uh, the generator that runs on magnetic power. So it doesn't need any electricity, fuel or batteries. I think that is what he's got working on, I think, on a bigger scale than what they've got, because they've got small generators you can use for your home up to a big apartment block type of thing. But I think if he's doing what he's doing, I think he's going to be able to run a country on it. So this is why I think it's going to definitely change the shape of the world. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I do believe that own passive will change the world. In fact, I, you know, I love the uh, ask a quote, and we talk about it a lot of times on the show, you know, he said, I might not be able to change the whole world, but I can change somebody's world. And then I come out with the quote on passive changing the world one person at a time, starting with Ash Mafaro. And when you put all that together, we're going to be able to change the world. We're going to be able to bless a lot of people. So we want to go into that part of it right now. So, uh, and I know you mentioned a little bit of it, but tell us, what are you going to do with your apples? You know, as I said, when, when it first starts, you know, let's uh, take care of ourselves. And, you know, and there's no doubt that when we all first came in, it was all about what is it going to do for us? How's it going to help us? But then we get the bigger picture where it's more about, it's not about us. It's about humanity. How are we going to be able to bless others? So this is a two-part question. Number one, Tell us, what is it going to do for Alan and his immediate family right now, you know, before, you know, with your apples? What do you want to do with it? And then second thing, then what? where are you going to go with it? Who are you going to give to? You got plans? Oh, kind of like to know some of that. Thanks, Mara. It's a very good question. Well, for myself at the moment, I'm staying in, a, in a, what they call a studio apartment. We call it a bachelor apartment, like a one-room apartment. I'd love to be able to, to get a bigger apartment for myself um, and, and a reasonable and a nice car. I don't know how long it's going to take before I can get the apartment, but the, the car should be by, hopefully by the end of the year uh, for Christmas. You know, get it done for about three or four months before I go and buy a car, just to have some extra uh, reserve funds in case I don't, you know, so to make sure everything's running smoothly. Um, and also like to travel. I'd love to go on like cruise ships, go cruising around the world, going to various parts, um, and various visit f f family and friends all over the world. I've got family in America I haven't seen for many, many years. I've got friends in Australia and family there that I've never, uh, that I haven't seen for 50 years, 60 years. Family, cousins. So I'd love to be able to travel. Um, when it comes to helping others, um, we have quite a lot with the COVID created a very big problem here for, with poverty. There are lots of families that are used to have houses now living in, in you know, like a little tent town uh, here in, uh, in, my, in the suburb where I am, uh, opposite the police station. Um, and those are the people I'm going to go to first and say, what is your problem? What can I, how, how can I help you? Um, give them money for food, um, possibly if help them find some accommodation, even pay for accommodation for a year to help them get on their feet. Um, that type of thing, that's what I'm going to start doing. The other various projects, organizations, we have what they call the National Sea Rescue Organization. Uh, I'm going to possibly create a spot for them, buy a spot for them. I've got, I made a list of about 200 odd people who are friends that I'd like to help with a, a reseller spot, gifted to them. So, so this is where it's going. It's not going to. I'm not going to. Uh, as I say, at the moment, I'm sitting with four positions for myself. So with that, I should be able to uh, bless a lot of people. <laughs> um, absolutely, that's the beautiful thing about this own passive uh, 
uh, Alan, that that I love about it is the humanitarian part. Just like you said, you've got four positions and you'll be able to grow those positions when the money or the apples come into that position and you share with someone else, it built, it starts a whole nother thing going, you know, and, yeah. and it will just keep building and building. And, 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 and if you can imagine, you know, Ash started out with just himself. And then all of a sudden it, it was another one, another one, another one. And now we have 1,300,000 roughly. What's going to happen when all of those people start bringing in people with resellers and stuff and gifting? You can see how big this thing is going to uh, grow. And uh, that I love that, you know, about this. Actually, I was speaking to my sister and my daughter over the weekend. And she couldn't get it that we're going to earn money for doing nothing. So she could not get to her head. <laughs> how, are you, how are you going to earn money? I said, are you going to sell? Who's going to sell? Are you going to sell? No, I said, the company's going to sell. No, it can't be. <laughs> she, couldn't, she couldn't wrap her head around that the AI is going to actually do the selling for us. She couldn't, couldn't fathom it out. She couldn't believe it. Didn't think it was possible. Well, it, you know, it's hard to believe, Alan, because it's never been done before. But when you wrap your head around it and you realize that it is true that, you know, these computers and AI is going to bring people to the, to the sales funnel, drop them in. Everyone's going to want the product. You know, we're talking about energy. We're talking about batteries. We're talking about all kinds of things that are being uh, worked on right now in these innovation labs and stuff. And it's just, it's an incredible thing. And when you think it's self-funding and just when you think you've got your head wrapped around it, it's like, boom, something else happened. And like uh, Julie will sometimes say, the light bulb mo mo movement comes on, <laughs> or moment, you know, and, uh, and, and it just becomes so much bigger, you know? And, yeah. and so we wonder, you know, Ash will say a, a lot of times he said, man, you only know a tenth, a tenth, yeah. one tenth. You I don't know, think we even know a tenth. I think we know less than five percent of what's going on. That's, that's for me. I think we know less than five percent. So yeah. I say it's Absolutely. what's underneath the water there. What's not un unknown is enormous. Is it's mind exactly, blowing. You're exactly right. It's like we're looking at an iceberg and we're just seeing what's above the surface. But it is so much bigger below the surface. What we don't know, you know, yeah. and uh, that's a, it's just an amazing thing where we're at in this and where we're going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we just uh, continue to evolve, continue to, uh, you know, hear new things. And, and it is hard for a new person to wrap their head about you know this has never been done before why would someone do the work for me and give me the money you know well hey you know what it's the way the the pro, the system works you know is it actually does the selling for you you don't have to do anything so it's a great great system absolutely you know uh i love our conversation here alan and milo because uh, as we continue to talk about the blessings of unpassive, we can see that is rad it's going to eradicate, first of all, poverty. Uh, to me, I imagine of the world that is so free, you know, like freedom for everyone that don't have to worry about how they are going to live. They don't have to worry about this and that. All they got to do is sharing the kindness and goodness around the world. And I know, Alan, like many of us, we do share on passive with other but there are people that don't want to be part of it. And there are people actually things that we are crazy. So let me ask you, what are your word of wisdom to these people? Look for the $97 um, or $100, roughly $100. It's worthwhile taking a chance. Um, you've got nothing to lose. Your money is refundable. Uh, if you don't like it, come in, have a look and explore and see what possibilities there are for you and your future of your family and whoever you and whoever you want to bless so for me it's been a godsend in that it's 
given me a chance to, to dream again, um, that, I, that I wouldn't, don't have to work until the day I die. This is, for me, that is a big, big thing. Uh, so, as I said, for me, it's, have it, come have a look, take a chance, and as I say, there's no risk because your money is 100% refundable, at least the 97 part of it, the $5 plus season fee doesn't get refunded, but even so, it's one of the best decisions you'll ever make. Absolutely. Uh, it's so true. And I, I love your heart. I love your passion. I love uh, the, the, the story about driving Miss Daisy around. You know, there's something to helping uh, the elderly people that I just love. I just love <laughs> that, you know. And I'm glad to, to hear your story on it, you know. But uh, I haven't told this in a long time, but uh, uh, on the show, I, I would sometimes say, or, or how many oranges can an orange seed produce? And, you know, the truth is, when you think about that, who knows? I mean, there is no number. It's an infinite number because you plant the seed, you plant the seed, and it grows a orange tree, which has many oranges on it. And every one of those oranges has many seeds. So then you can take those seeds and plant them again. And then pretty soon you got an orange grove. You know, and this is kind of the way it is with on passive and the way you were talking, you know, you're, you're going to take some, you're going to bless some. And then when those people get it and they start, but isn't this an incredible deal? Yeah, it is. It is. It's absolutely unbelievable. You know, help one person and let them bless somebody else once it, once they got them, themselves sorted and let them pay it forward with some, to somebody else. That's the way to do it. Absolutely. And, and when Julie said, you know, that it will change the world, you know, poverty, uh, hunger, you know, people living on the streets, none of that has to happen now. No, you know, it, what, what, it shouldn't be. They have this World Economic Forum every year. They've been having for, for I don't know, the last 20 odd years. It's supposed to eradicate poverty, but the government is no will but from the governments to do it. Right. I once saw a headline, I think, I'm not sure where, it, where I saw it, but it said, they must keep Africa poor at all costs. Yes, you know, and, and I believe it is all started with, you know, with every individuals, whether or not they're at the government level or the citizens, it's to make the decisions to start doing it. And, and I think that's a problem in this world. There are so many... Uh, you know, poverty, there's so much poverty around the world, but yet there are so many, so little of the amount of people that make decisions to do it. And yeah. so I'm, I'm so blessed that on passive is giving us that ability to do it. And I believe every single one of us will be doing it as soon as our apples start coming. Uh, and and it, it, it's not about having that apple in our hands and do it. It's about now. It's about line up your heart, your mind, and plan it now. And that's what I see it. So thank you so much, Alan, for being here with us and tell us your story. Um, any last words, Milo or Alan? Uh, I would just like to say thanks, Alan, for coming and sharing your passion, sharing your heart. And we are, we are in it to win it. And it's going to be a big thing for us you know i i'm just so excited i know we all have problems sleeping at nine almost sometimes because of all the excitement and and what's going to happen but thank you so much for coming on to the show and sharing your views do you have any last words uh, not really i just had to say that uh been happy to it's a pleasure being here and speaking to you and um i have to see you on the next julia mala show Absolutely. Thank you so much, Alan, for being here with us. Um, everyone, we have Alan G in our, uh, you know, in, in the Julian Milo show today. It's so nice to speak with him. Very sweet gentleman. He started with making candy and now he's driving Miss Daisy around just to help them out. I mean, that's, that's the type of people that we have in on passive, very kind, 
everyone's just normal people around the world, but we all connected together because of OnPassive. So we do hope that you are making a decision to be part of OnPassive to make the most impact in the world. And so if you decide to do it, please get back with the person who share on passive with you and say, I like to be part of that moment. You know, that will help you not only will make your life so much better, but it's also help you to have that ability to help other people around the world as well. Thank you so much for watching the Julia and Milo show. We do hope that you have a fantastic day and please stay blessed. Good night from Orange County, California. Good night from Cape Town, South Africa. Good night from Nashville. Tell the stories of how they tell.